G'day folks, thought I'd do a bit of a joint aquaculture and aquaponics clip today even though they're technically sort of the same thing. Um, what I'm doing is moving the fish or one lot of fish from the fish farm behind me into the aquaponics system. Uh, there's three reasons I want to do that. First one is I need to replace the fish load in the aquaponics because I did kill some the other week. Um, posted a bit of a clip on it, still kicking myself. Secondly, um, it's almost 12 months. We're about two weeks shy of 12 months of these fingerlings going into the fish farm. So I want to weigh them up and see if they're around about the 500 gram or one pound mark. Um, one of the goals I had at the beginning of doing this was trying to raise some jade perch in under 12 months in a fish farm up to harvest size, which is the 500 gram. So we'll see how they're going. And the third reason is I'm having a solids issue in the fish farm, which is understandable. Um, we've got larger fish in there now, they're eating a lot more, so they're producing a lot more solids um, that I have to filter out. I'm finding I'm do having to do it twice a week now to keep the load down. And I've also got a little bit of um, filter matting, or I think I've shown it in other clips, sitting in on top of the moving bed biofilter, and that's collecting a lot of the little solids. So um, I really need to uh, address that and that the excess solids and one of the ways I thought to do it was basically to half the load um, in the system. So once those fish come out and go over I will be moving half the fish from the remaining tank into the tank behind me here and um, we'll keep them going for a little while and yeah, until they're all harvested and then I can put some aquaponic beds here. Just to let you know as well I've had a lot of requests from people for plans on how to build this system, I even had people offer me money for it. Um, I'm not going to do that guys, mainly because this is the first straight fish farm I've ever built. I've had a few teething issues and if I gave you guys the plans, you know, they're not complete. There's bits missing, there's holes in it. Uh, what I will do though is after the system's all done, uh, harvested the fish, uh, I will sit down and I'll do a video um, detailing roughly what I've done and where I think it could be improved. Um, if you want to know, you know, have a look at a really kick butt system at the moment, hop over to Fish and Worms channel, there'll be a link here. Um, hop over there and have a look at his system. He's using a lot better quality filtration though, commercial stuff, so obviously he's not gonna, coming up against the challenges I am with ours. So that's pretty much all it for rabbiting on about that. Uh, I'll get started now, I'll start draining the water out and I'll just bring you along and just give you a little looks along the way um, of where we're up to and yeah, hopefully show you some decent sized fish being weighed. So I'll get cracking. Rightio, so we're starting to take the water out. Um, I've got my little siphon hose here. It's basically got a tap on one end and a tap on the other. I fill it up with water, open the tap, put it in there, open the tap down the bottom and it creates a bit of a siphon so we can prime the pump. And from there, she's running out into a 500 litre tank, which I have turned the tap off. Yes, I have. And then I've also got a couple of little 100 litre half barrels. I'll be filling these guys up with water from the system and that'll just make it easier for us to catch the fish. So um, it'll be a couple of minutes before this is ready to go. So the fish, I've also had the lid open for a while. You can't really see them, they're over the back there. I've had the, the lid open for a while just so they get used to, um, yeah, not too stressed when it was time for the move. So fairly decent sized looking fish. I just realized, I just realized we hadn't pressed record. It was a bit silly. Uh, Kira did get one shot at one of the uh, birch though. And he was just over the 500. The majority of the rest though have been smaller than that. Um, I'm not weighing them anymore. I'm just trying to get them into this tank as fast as I can. I'm um, just happy to know at least one's over, but the majority, like I said, is probably two or three in this tank that size. The rest have been um, fairly small, so there you go, baby. There we go. And I wish I was keeping count. So it's the next day, and I thought I'd come back and give you a bit of a look now um, because I cleaned the filter yesterday and made the water a bit murky. But you can see the guys down there all happy. Um, there's only about 12 left in here I think. Um, I gave them a bit of a feed this morning and they took the pellets within about 5-10 minutes so I'll give them another feed later today. One thought that has crossed my mind though, um, sort of kicking myself, I do remember reading somewhere that when you um, have lightly stocked 
environments the fish don't feed as well they don't really have that survival instinct that they got to get in there first not quite sure where I read that or I'm not even quite sure if that is correct but it is something I sort of vaguely remember but anyway those guys there are happy um, I've just turned the water off so you can have a look and I will turn it back on again right now we'll go over and have a look at the fish in the other tank and this here is the other tank um, as you can see the water's nice and clean these fish seem to be all right um, one thing, yes, the weights. I measured a couple and they were well over the 500 gram mark, so I'm really chuffed about that. I had a bit of a look last night and they were actually put in in May, mid-May last year. So I've actually grown fish to harvest size in under 12 months, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Especially since I cut back on the feeding rates when I had a few dramas um, with the system, so yeah very happy. I will point out though that there's only probably about five or six that are around that size. The majority of them, see if we can get a bit of a better look, the majority of them are probably um, probably around about the 400 gram, a little bit over 400 gram. There's a nice big one there. Um, and there would be some that are a little bit lower as well, a little bit smaller like that one top left hand corner. I'd say he's probably, you know, maybe 350. So I'm really chuffed about that. Um, I yeah, didn't think I was going to do it. So anyway, we'll pop over after I turn the water back on in there to the big fish tank over the back. So these guys here, I came out this morning and they were actually surfing in the Venturi. So let's see if we can be sneaky enough to catch it. Nah, I think they're a little bit shy. So yeah, there was two of them coming up here and they kept repetitively hopping in the Venturi and flying backwards around the tank. So I think it's a bit of a novelty for them at the moment. Um, new environment, um, something new going on. So anyway, I'm just going to turn this Venturi off. Um, remind me to turn it on later, folks. So these guys went in fairly well. Uh, there was no big hassles yesterday. Bianca was called away, so I lost my extra set of hands, hence why there's not much vision. I forgot to press record. These guys fed well this morning. I tossed a few pellets in and they smashed into them straight away, so really chuffed about that. I'll give them a few more later today, see how they go. But they're not looking too shy. Um, they're, they're up the top. They're not too stressed, so I'm really pleased about that. I'll just turn this hose back on. So I just thought I'd run through a couple of the reasons why I'm not too happy about giving out plans for this system as of yet. Um, some of the reasons behind it, well the two major ones are the solids that are flowing through the system. The radial flow filters, these homemade jobbies, they are not 100% perfect. They do a fantastic job, don't get me wrong, I was good as a swirl filter, some people say better, that's why I went with them. So. I'm really happy with it as a DIY jobby, but some of the solids, finer solids, still make it through into the biofilter. What happens is they settle in the media and also too, because my Venturi will just pan down, sorry if it gets a bit jerky. The Venturi is just coming in here, probably about um, 8 inches or 200 mil up from the bottom of the filter. So what that means is everything above is being uh, moved around nicely but everything below is pretty much, well, not as turbulent, so I am getting some solids precipitate out along the bottom, um, as well as that, um, or some of the biomedia down there is getting pretty gunky with the solids as well. So what I thought I'd do is, as I've shown before, throw in the filter matting on top of the media in there, uh, three grades, a coarse one, a medium, and a fine, um, just sitting on top of the, the filter material in there, and it's doing a great job at um, collecting those solids. All I have to do is when I clean out the radial flow filter, probably twice a week, every three or four days, I grab the matting out, uh, spray it with the hose, get as much gunk out of it as I can. Um, the water that I collect then goes onto plants in the patch, um, so it doesn't go to waste. And the filter material is added back into here, you know, just until the next clean out. Some of the solids are making it through below that. Whether they're fish waste or dead bacteria falling off the um, plastic media, I'm not too sure. So while the material's out of there, what I like to do is just get my arm in there, swirl the, the biomedia around a lot, agitate it, um, especially around the outlet that goes through to the sump tank, and try and stir up the water as much as I can. And I find that I am getting a lot of small solid particles suspended in the water there with the biomedia. So the water is pretty murky after I do that, hence why I didn't show you the uh, fish yesterday afternoon. Um, so it clears up overnight though I mean you saw just before how crystal clear the water is and um, yeah those filter materials pretty much all taken a lot of those solids out already so today's Monday the fish got taken out Sunday so come Wednesday or Thursday I'll clean the radial flow out again and those uh, bits of matting filter filter matting and it'll just be interesting to see how many solids have actually accumulated now we've got pretty much all half the stocking density in there so 
there we go. Uh, that's the solids. Now for the other problem, the nitrite. Uh, I have persistent nitrite in the system. It's 0.25 um, all the time. Of what I think it is, well actually I was told what it probably is. Uh, Paul Van um, gave me the heads up. Thank you very much mate. I probably don't have enough retention time in the moving bed biofilter. Well, that's where all the, um, the exchange is happening between ammonia to nitrite, nitrite to nitrate. Um, so the water's flying through there too quickly. What he suggested was creating another biofilter, exactly the same as this one, um, in build. Put it next to it, take half the media out of here, pop it in there. So then basically what I've got is I uh, doubled my retention time um, through the system. So the water needs to travel through this one, then the next one, then the sump tank. And that will help greatly in um, looking after those nitrites. The other thing is too, I thought um, instead of having the, the filter matting in this biofilters then, what I could do is create a little ledge in the sump tank have the water cascade over the top of it and that would look after my finer solids mainly like I said before because some solids are being generated by the bacteria on the biofilter media so there you go they're just two of the little problems that I think you know I could solve um, before giving any plans out if I ever do uh, the other thing is too just the position of some of this plumbing and the size of the pipe work I'd redo that I wouldn't do that the same next time either so um, yeah I might, like I said, I might do a release of some sort of plans as such, but they won't be, you know, guaranteed to work. They'll just be my take on how I'd build it next time. So there you go, folks. There's a bit of a look at how the fish move went yesterday. The jades from the fish farm over to the aquaponics. They all look happy in their new homes. Um, I'm glad I didn't um, post the clip I shot yesterday afternoon. The water quality was just too shabby. Um, it also gives you a look at how well those filters polish up the water. It's been probably only been about 18 hours since the move. And yeah, the water's crystal clear again. So the way I've got the filters running at the moment is, you know, pretty much well spot on for the way the build is at the moment. Um, in saying that, um, I hope you guys do understand why I haven't released plans as, as of yet and I may not um, end up doing so. Um, yeah, we'll just see how we go with that one. So please don't count on it, but do learn from my mistakes. I mean, seriously, um, I'm just having a crack and showing you guys how it's being done. So, um, what else? Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed. We've got a couple of fish in there over the 500 gram mark or over the pound mark. Um, yeah, in under 12 months, only 11 months. So pretty stoked about that. Uh, it'd be nice if a lot more were, but yeah, when I had a bit of a downtime and I wasn't feeding them as much, that's pretty much what slowed down the growth rate on some of them, I would think. But uh, yeah, I'll pretty much will leave it there, stop rambling on. Uh, just let you know that we do have um, different playlists available too for the fish farm build and also too for the aquaponics um, and pretty much all every other aspect of the garden. So check them out if you're interested. You can also check out our little mini daily updates just in picture form on Facebook and Instagram if you're interested. We're on Twitter as well, but yeah, I'm pretty much all just posting to one place and a post to all those different social media. Pick, you know, whichever one you like the most and have a look if you're interested. But yeah, I'll leave it there. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, pop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you where I can. Other than that, I hope everyone's well and happy and I shall catch you next clip. Cheers, folks.